Greetings survivors and friends, Shadowfrax here with your weekly Rust development bulletin and I'll say up front this isn't going to be a long video for two reasons. Firstly, there isn't much news, and secondly, and I know a lot of you are probably in a similar boat and your country is no doubt a billion times more extreme than mine, but I live in the UK, which is supposed to look like this all year round. But for the last couple of weeks, it's been like this. Which has made it rather uncomfortable to sleep at night. So I'm sleep deprived is what I'm saying. Anyway, sorry for the self-pity, but it does feel good. Right, so last week's big news was all about the giant excavator monument being added to the staging branch, but as I very clearly said then, it's still under construction. Because it won't actually be merging onto the main branch until next Thursday, August the 1st, and indeed there have been a lot of tweaks to it over the last few days. The night lights are much more fleshed out now to keep the scientists happy whilst they're waiting for visitors. They switch off properly in the day and there are some nice points of detail such as illuminated control panels in the cockpits when the excavator is in use. Culling and LODs have been improved too and because it makes sense you'll be able to go 10% faster when walking and running on the belts, depending on which way you're going of course. There are also new sounds for the monument which is still a work in progress and with a week yet to go we'll no doubt see some extra tweakage before we can all pay it a visit. Talking of which, as far as I can see, costs for diesel and yields from the monument remain unchanged from last week, although a lot of you did point out that low-grade costs at the compound have been adjusted and are now 10 scrap for 20. Well spotted. In addition to this, there was a slight adjustment to the scrap exchange at the Bandit Camp, which now sees HQ Metal exchanging for 2 scrap instead of 3 each. It's a small change but I'll mention it nonetheless. As well as this, there was some more terrain shader optimizations, a fix to skin reloading at very low FPS, plus a fix for the hunter's jacket skin always looking way too dark. A warning message has been added to the loading screen for anyone trying to join a server with a 4K map when they have less than 10 gig of RAM. You'll have to take my word on that one. The server browser timeout limit was increased to 90 seconds, and I did mention before that there was a commit relating to water height. Well, I got to the bottom of this, and it's not actually as exciting as I thought it was, Basically, it's to do with an important call that Rust makes to check the water height at any location on the map, which may include open sea or shore waves. It relates to boats, water junk piles, and anything else that's floating. And the good news is that it's now been optimized and is 10 times faster, so that's one less thing to bring down server performance. The team are still extremely busy working on switching Rust's visuals over to HDRP, which stands for High Definition Render Pipeline, and that should should make everything both look and perform better, although from what I've heard, as it's such a huge undertaking, it will be quite some time until we get to find that out. Gary also continues to work on the Movie Maker branch, and although I don't have anything to show you about any of this yet, you know your Uncle Shadow will keep you in the loop as soon as it becomes available, so make sure you follow me on social media somewhere for when that happens. I'm currently making a couple of new concept limbo vids and I'll be uploading the first one over the next few days so make sure you're subscribed and you've got notifications turned on for that. Please spank the like button and leave me a comment too as it does help my channel and follow me on Twitch where I try to stream three times a week schedule permitting. You can also keep up to date with me on Twitter, Facebook, Discord and my Steam group. Links in the pinned comment. I shall catch you all soon but in the meantime keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio.